of you. Today I'll be discussing with you how to find outliers in a data set in R. So these are the topics I'll be covering today regarding outliers, data set, min max, mean, median, mode, quantile, histogram, box plot and outlier. So what is outlier? Outlier in a set of data, if some particular values are not matching the remaining values, it would have happened maybe due to typographical error or something. For example, you are entering the weights of all the students in a class and you are seeing one particular value as 400 kg. So naturally that is an error. It can be 40 kg that uh, one zero was added. So that is a, to find those values. That's okay. Okay. So let us start. So there are different data sets in R that are all preloaded. You can see those data, data sets okay, using the command data. Suppose you want to know more about a particular data set, you can just type question mark and then see what is that, what is the data set, what are the columns in that, just type CO2 and then you can see, you can see the contents of that, okay. So now we are, uh, we are trying to use the data set empty cars okay so it has got the name of a particular car and then we'll see how to see the details so i'm making a copy of the data set more for underscore car on this empty cars and now i'll i'll play around with this more underscore car so this data frame it's a data frame okay so to find to find the columns you can just type dollar and see the columns in, in that okay and this will display the values of the particular column so how to find the dimension so 32 row 11 column what are the names of the rows Names, motor car. So show the show the raw names, column names. You find the column names. So suppose you want to find the um, maximum value in a in a column. So max. So it will show you the maximum value. Okay. So now how to find the which row? Okay, which row? So it tells sixteenth row is having the maximum value. So how to find the end row? Row names dot com which dot max okay which dot max and this column I want to say dollar ability okay so the row names the uh, name of the voice corresponding to length and content okay that had the maximum value from the weight okay so this is how you find the maximum value and the corresponding row to that and same way you can find about the 
min also the command is yes, min I can find okay same so this is how you use the max and min to find the values and the corresponding rows okay so I, I hope I have made it clear to you and suppose you want to know the entire entire values in that column okay I'll show you that yeah to find the entire row what you have to give is that you motor car which next wt okay so that the particular row with all the details okay that comma nothing okay so this, this will give you the row number okay row number okay so give you row number so that is the th row we are printing okay so so what is the next topic so how to find the mean to find the mean mean of that particular one particular column wt mean median motor.com wt median so median is a middle value after sorting so suppose two values are there in the middle you take the average of both the values okay this is how you find the median and now what is the mode mode means the occurrence maximum occurrence so there's no direct command for mode finding the mode so we have to use table and then use it okay i'll tell you that so to find the mode you have to use the command table the table tells the frequency of the occurrence of each one okay so you can see here it has been sorted and 3.44 is occurring three times okay here yeah, you can see so how to find that uh, so since there is no uh, direct command for finding the mode you can sort this okay sort the data sort sort this so you will get it sorted so the last one will have the maximum this thing okay so using this you have to use this command and then get the so this is the command for that sort and then you you get the reverse sort i mean now decreasing equal to true so uh, the max maximum the 3.44 will come in the first that's the highest one will come in the first and you get the first uh, first element so you'll get 3.44 is the mode so this is how you find the mode in r it's not a, there's no direct function so you have to use the table and then take it okay and take the first one okay that's how you find the mode so what is the next topic so next up is condyle okay condyle means the um, may to you you might have you might be knowing the quartile the quarters first quarter second quarter like that so function is condyle and then wt okay so it tells the zero percentage 25 where is the zero the uh, i'll show you the okay i'll show the box plot now let me draw the box plot and then box plot so there's a box plot so here the lowest is current highest is current so the corresponding values 1.51 something 
and this is the 25 percentage 2.581 this thing then median is 3.325 and the 75 percentage of the all the 75 percentage quartile is 3.61 and the upper risk rate 5.4 Four to four. Okay, so this is how you find the quartile, and the two outlets are there. Okay, this is these two points tells outlets. Okay, so I'll show you how you find the outlets. So there's a function called box plot stats. Okay, box plot stats. And then move to uh, dollar WT. So it's tells you about the boss code stats. Okay, so you can see here this this is set. This gives output like this. So first one is same like the condel. Okay, 1.5 same thing. Okay, so here. Okay, and then this one shows number of rows okay and and this is the conference interval around the median there is no I'll show you that and these are the two outlays so suppose you want to take the outlays directly you can just box for stats and then dollar out to show you outlays directly outlays so the other one the notch is if you when you are plotting the boss plot comma notch you could prove if you type so this is a notch okay notch values how much three point zero one so this here the notch the conference interval around the median that's the notch values here that's this values first one to three point zero and here three point six so I got an explanation for this so this is a boss plot lower whiskers and upper whisker and this is a notch as sign here five percent percentile is the twenty fifth percentile and this is the interquarter range okay q3 minus q1 as in the quarter range and it's the outlier okay so so these are the two outliers then i will tell you how to write these outliers in the box plot i will show you the significance of this notch by drawing a histogram histogram can be drawn using the function hist and then motor car dollar wt you get the histogram see con the around the median three point something two three point six somewhere here so this are the maximum number of values okay this area that's why and uh, this values came the conference interval around the median okay you can see here this three point something to three point six that has the maximum number number of values okay so and now how to um, just before i told you using this command you will get the outlets name of outlets so it will have 5.424 and 5.345 so this after plot in the box plot and now this out has got these values and to this we are getting the we are getting the true command true value for the rows that are having this outlays okay how we are so i'll show you how this is coming 
so this is checking the out has got this one so where all this is the yes now if we type out dot you will have the raw numbers how it is coming is that suppose you take this and you do this you can see see where all that 16 and 17 coming there it is true okay so see out uh, that value C out will be having 5.424 and 5, 5.345 <coughs> sorry so it is checking where it is coming whether it, where it is present those will be having true okay and then we are finding the corresponding row values using the which command which so we got 16 and 17 now you can just use out int out int comma you will get the rows which is having the outlays you can have you can see here outlays in the column wt this one okay this is how you find the rows that is having outlays hope it is clear now one more thing is that you can display the values here using the command and test I'll show you that and test and test one command is there using that you can yeah you can just paste the values the top okay so you get that so this is how you find the outlays in R okay so I hope you understood and this is and this tells you what I well, this is a recap of what I told till now. So I told you what mean max or in the data sets. Okay, there are different data sets are there. You can play with any data sets by knowing the column name and row name, and then you can find the min max, all these things, and then you can find the outlays by plotting the box box plot. And also using the box plot stats, you can find which all values are outliers. Okay, and I explained to you what is the box plot and what is the histogram. Also, in this program, you can I, I just draw the simple histogram. You can give the values also here where the you can define the boundaries of this. Okay, suppose you want. See, I want one, two, five, comma, one, two, three, comma, five. Okay, so did not span the range. Okay, mm. comma, sorry. Okay, so it should cover the range. That's why they are okay. So one, so we can we can define also. We need to take it. It's auto breaks. So okay, so this is how you can do it for the like for drawing histogram. Okay, thank you. I hope you understood. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.